Hi, first graders. Today I'm going to be reading you a biography about Ruby Bridges. Remember, biographies are nonfiction books that tell you all about a person's life. So this book will be telling us all about the life of Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges. This is the table of contents, which lists the chapter titles and the page numbers where you can find the beginning of that chapter. It also has a map that shows you where Ruby Bridges grew up, and the caption says, Ruby grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans is a city in the state of Louisiana, and it's marked here on the map. Who was Ruby Bridges? Ruby Bridges was a little girl who made a big difference. Ruby was born in 1954. She and her family lived in the South. This caption says, Ruby Bridges photographed at age six in New Orleans, Louisiana. So the caption is just telling you where she was and how old she was when that photograph was taken. What was the South like? When Ruby was young, some laws in the South were not fair to black people. These laws kept black people and white people separate. The caption says, black people could not use the same drinking fountains as white people in the South. A United States law said that all children had to go to the same schools. State laws in the South still kept black and white children separate. Black children and white children had to go to different schools. Many people worked to make Southern schools follow the United States law. This caption says black children and white children went to different schools in the South, and there's a photograph of each school. How was Ruby brave? Ruby was chosen to go to a white school for first grade in 1960. She was the only black student in that school. Many white parents did not want their children to go to school with a black child. They kept their children at home. Some angry white people stood outside Ruby's new school. They yelled at Ruby every day when she went to school. The caption says people stood outside of the school and yelled at Ruby. Ruby kept going to school. Officers kept her safe. The caption on this photograph says Ruby was led into school by officers. So you can see Ruby and then one, two, three police officers walking her inside to keep her safe. Here it says, do you know? Other black students in the South went to all white schools like Ruby. In 1957, nine black teenagers went to a white high school in Little Rock, Arkansas. The president of the United States sent soldiers to protect the students so they could go to school. Many people helped Ruby while she went to school. Ruby had a nice teacher named Mrs. Henry. Ruby was the only child in Mrs. Henry's classroom. All the other kids had been pulled out of the class by their parents. A man named Mr. Coles helped Ruby too. Mr. Coles helped Ruby with the way she felt about going to school. Ruby drew pictures about her feelings. Many neighbors helped Ruby and her family too. How did Ruby make a difference? Ruby was a brave girl who didn't let anything stop her from going to school. She showed people that children can help change a country. Here it says, do you know? This photo shows Ruby Bridges with President Barack Obama in 2011. They are standing in front of a painting called The Problem We All Live With. It shows Ruby being taken to school by officers. The next year, other black students went to school with Ruby. Today, many different children go to school together. Ruby still works to bring children together. She still works to make the world fair for everyone. The caption says Ruby read a book about her life to students in New York City in 2000. Here's the glossary, which lists the bold or key words and the definition which the, and the page number where you will find that word. I hope that you enjoyed listening to this biography about Ruby Bridges. I hope you learned a lot of new information about this very important person.